struggles every day, believes in God, and wants to do what the Bible says. David never gives up, he fights to the end. David, 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 he's gotta try, try, try again. He never gives up, David has a story for you. No matter how hard it is, no matter the trouble that lies ahead, he never gives up, David, the modern age Christian. Where we left off from last time. Me and David and Troya were having a study group and we were talking about what is the will of God. Revelations chapter 4 verse 11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things and by your will they were created and have their being. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and, and approve what God's will is, His good pleasing and perfect will. Psalm chapter 40 verse 8 I desire to do your will. My God, your law is within my heart. And then afterwards, what is the plan of God, what we learned from the last episode? Psalms chapter 33 verse 11 But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of His heart through all generations. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 He has shown you, O immortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. 10 verse 36 For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Psalm chapter 139 verse 17 How precious to me are you, thoughts God, how vast is the sum of them. The plan of God is this, you start your day, you wake up, you have your breakfast, you do your prayers, and you pray you thank God for all the great days you had, then you go and you kiss your wife goodbye, then you take your car, then you leave, go to your job, there's a person that asks for directions, you tell them where to go, so you have a good day, then you start working, Start putting all the inventory, start doing all the hard work. Then after a hard day's work, you go back to your house. You go on the way. There's a person that doesn't have money to go to the bus. He's asking for a lift. You don't know him, but he's a stranger. But still, in your Christian way, you give him two dollars. Then you return home. You found out your wife, she left her bag in the park. She lost four hundred dollars of food money. You understand, you forgive her, you tell her things will be alright, and problems happen. Then you pray to God and ask Him to help you. Then you're given five options. Option A, ask help from your family, get a loan from banks. Option C, do nothing. Option D, ask your Christian friends for help. And option E, do A or D together you will see you will have problems. But the most important thing when you're doing these options 
is that even though all these problems happen, you give thanks to the Lord, and you stay firm, and you love God with all your heart. And when you do that, you can show that even though when bad things happen, you'll stay faithful. You are doing the plan of God. And we find what is love, and what Jesus wanted us to love. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, verse 38. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Verse 39. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, verse 38. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Verse 39. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Verse of it. And finally, we found out in the first episode the fulfillment of of the law is love. Galatians chapter 5 verse 14 For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. And I was telling Troya and David about the purpose of man. And I told them, the whole purpose of man is one thing, is to sing to the Lord. God also appeared. We can look at the verse. Luke chapter 24 verse 44 Now he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things that are written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Psalms chapter 100 verse 2 to 3 Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Verse 4 Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Colossians chapter 3, verse 16 Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you, with all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another, with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Of course, we Hebrew people, the Israelites, know that the purpose of man is to sing. Just like birds can fly and fish can swim, men are only meant to sing. Also women can sing to the Lord. That's right. That's man's purpose. Never for war, building or farming, just singing was your sole purpose. It is why I created you all to sing and to only worship me. Thou art in heaven. So should be on earth. You sing in heaven. You should also sing on earth. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. No, you talk, walk, you sing, you think, and you dream. They are all gifts from heaven. They are all gifts from me, which I also use. James chapter 1 verse 17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. And the most important one of all is to love. Matthew chapter 13 verse 11 He replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. John 
chapter 13, verse 34. A new command I give you. Love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. There are gifts that come from me. You must love like I do love. Those who are like Isaiah, who had visions, those that have dreams like Daniel, or fought like Samson, or love like Jesus, all have a purpose. In the end, I will show you all the reason. They were all tested, even when I came like Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. That's why I came as Jesus, and came without power to show the will of God, so people will see God's power and His will through a human body I choose, so they can put their trust in me and do my will. John chapter 6 verse 38 For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of Him who sent me. You are only children. You don't decide anything. You don't know anything. We humans are nothing. We are animals. Our existence is small. We can't even take responsibility of ourselves for the bad things we've done, for the wars, the pollution, the governments we made are all our responsibility. And still God gives us air, water, food, the vegetation on this planet. Everything on earth is beautiful. We are all ungrateful. And God saved us many times over and over. Every time we think we are high and we're powerful like the Romans who disappeared just to show us that all powerful cultures all of them even though they are so powerful and so technologically advanced they all disappear they all wither yes people think they are in control of their lives but don't realize the path they walk and their errors but what errors? How do we stay in the right path with so much technology? Don't interrupt me, Jacob. Well, I am sorry, God. Don't worry. I forgive you, Jacob. I love you. See, that's why God is God. He is not like the other gods. He forgave Jacob. God has patience on us. Peter. Chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Psalm 126, verse 5. Those who sow in tears shall harvest with joyful shouting. Verse 6. One who goes here and there weeping, carrying his bag of sin, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Is the path of man is a man of pain, of love and tears. Do not doubt me, for I will set your path. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. No, I am a jealous God, and I will protect you, but I give you the choice always to follow me or the world, to choose good or evil. How, how do we become your people of tears, pain, and love? No, I am a jealous God. And I will protect you, but I give you 
the choice always to follow me or the world, to choose good or evil. My people are the ones who obey me. My people are the ones who follow my orders. My people are the ones who fight for my kingdom. They will gladly give up their lives for me. My people don't judge me or criticize me. They know wherever I decide is for the best of them and with love I gave them. They will do everything to do my will. They won't stop until it's done. When they die, I will give them a crown of righteousness. I will receive them with my arms open. I will never abandon them. I will never betray. I will never drop them. My people are of faith, pain, love and tears. They have nothing to fear. I will catch them. No, there aren't any of those people today. My people will do everything in my promise to make it happen. My people will love and will not kill to make it happen. My people will do my will. Oh God, forgive us. You give us the right to choose. Give us manna, gifts, and our temple. We all waste it all. All of us do you wrong. We are all unworthy of you. David! 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 You don't have to be afraid. I'm sorry, God. I failed you so much. There are no real men in the modern world. No man of faith, no man of love. I want a man of faith, a man of love and faith. Israel is my people and will come out Zion. David, 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 don't be afraid. I am all powerful. I am all loving God. I have patience with my children. I love you, David. I love all of you. You see the world. You see they don't have faith. They're lost. They don't understand what faith is. I need you to show them. That's why I love you. Because you wanted them to be saved. And you gave from yourself. You didn't want the lesser to be saved or the greater. You wanted all to be saved, even the bad ones to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is what I want, to follow my plan. You never gave up on them. You wanted to save, save them all. David, save them, save them, save them all. Jacob, save all those people, save them. Wow, save them. Put your faith in me, and I'll ask all of you to save all those good people. I command you this task, kick, scream, do whatever it takes, but do all you can to save all those good people, even the bad ones. You're all my children, and I love you all. This is why I came to the world, to show how man can trust in me and pray to me. I am a fair God, no matter what, I want a man that his faith is unmoved, and no matter what, he is faithful to me, and won't doubt me, that he will lose it all, and be betrayed by the world. He will not fall from his path. I want a man 
that doesn't back away from me and is not afraid of me because I will not hurt him. I want a man who is faithful and I can show the whole world and he holds my hand all the way and doesn't let go no matter how hard things get. He stays the same and is faithful and he does my will so the whole universe can see a small human being can have a relationship with me of trust and love just like he loves his father and mother he puts his faith in me a small human can put his trust in me so he can show the whole universe they can put their trust in me and have faith in me knowing I will not abandon them I don't betray I am with you always even after the end of time my love and trust endures for all ages I will never abandon you I will never stop loving you Mary's of Jesus I want all of you to love like I love that's impossible no one can love like God of course Troya there is one and that's Jesus of Nazareth just like I gave you small gifts that come from me the ability to love to have faith to think all come from me even dreams so is in heaven so is on earth love like I do love all like I love to do my will Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 6 trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight First of John chapter 2 verse 17 the world and its desires pass away but whoever does the will of God lives forever